What is up everybody? It's Wick here and it's early Monday morning and I'm about to drop these off at the post office and do a major sourcing trip today. Uh, there's an area about an hour away I want to go to and hopefully um, I'm predicting some <laughs> some good profits because I haven't been there in well, I guess it's been a month and uh, there's a lot of Walmart clearance been popping up, so I'm going to hit a couple Walmarts. I usually, those are the best Walmarts I hit ever, so I'm hoping that they actually have clearance there and uh, everything uh, works out in the terms of profits. But I ended up selling the Highgate camera I listed the other day that worked. Uh, it sold within like two hours. Uh, I'll probably priced it a bit low. I priced it at $69.99. Uh, buyer pays shipping. It ended up uh, getting $81 for it so I'm still making like 50 or 60 bucks actually like $60 on this because it only took $9 to ship it so uh, paid five bucks for it at a garage sale that's a great little profit there and uh, sold a see what was it a uh, Sony sports cassette player Walkman thing got that at a garage sale for a dollar Sold it for $37.99. I was wondering why it wasn't selling. I had buyer pay shipping on top of that. So um ended up getting $40 some dollars for that. I, usually I do free shipping on things like that, but that's geez, that ends up being like a $30 bill. Basically, right here is about $130 profit. So definitely nice um, adding those to the bank. But uh, let's get this adventure started. Gotten out of Lowe's and Home Depot and already got a profit potential of about $300 here. Show you in a bit. Oh boy, got this Goodwill to hit. That Goodwill was so dry, but this Walmart is going to restore my faith. Well, this Walmart has forsaken me. So let me show you what I got today. I did all right. Uh, first is these Husqvarna trimmer heads. I bought these, bought a few. I don't remember how many not too long ago. I think I've sold them all. I don't remember. I make about $7 in the end on them. So I make about 14 between the two I got. Got these lights here. They were $3.50 a piece, marked down from 30 some. Don't sell for that much on 
Amazon, I believe $28. So I should be able to sell those for um, about that, and I'll, I'll make about $15 profit, I think it was, about $30 between the two. Had a pretty good rank, I was kind of surprised. Got these ballast, uh, I don't, actually I don't know what they're for. Some sort of electronical thing for the lights. Uh, there's four of them here. Um, I'm probably going to lot all four of them on eBay and sell them for about $60, $70. Uh, paid $5, or $2.50 a piece, so $10. Uh, make pretty good money on those. Couldn't really sell them on Amazon. I don't think there was a listing. <laughs> here I got some more of these water defense alarms, nine of them. Paid $8 and something. I've uh, been cleaning up on these. I've gotten close to 50 They've been selling pretty consistently, and I've been making about $20 profit on each one. So nine more, that's about just under $200, about $180 profit I should make on these if the price holds. I uh, bought this not too long ago at Home Depot as a test. I got three of them. Uh, see if they actually sold for about 50 I did sell one, so I went ahead and went back and bought the others. I paid 12 something for them. Uh, profit on these is $25 if the price holds and I got eight of them so I don't know it's a hundred and some dollars isn't it eight twenty five fifty hundred about two hundred dollars actually and I got these tire chains for a lawnmower uh, they were 16 something uh, they sell for 60 some dollars. They're super heavy, so the fees really eat up the profits, but it still make about $20, $25 a piece on them. In the end, got more of these John Deere blades. They've been selling for me. I uh, had to lower the price, but they do sell, and I've been making about six, seven dollars a piece. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six here. So it's about $36, $42, something like that. I got this landscaping lights. Uh, they were like 88 cents. I got eight of them. I'll bundle these in two packs on eBay. Make about seven dollars profit between the two on each. So it's about let's see seven thirty-two dollars, thirty thirty-two dollars I should make on those. So definitely some great profits here. Um, I'm gonna go home and get some food and try to get some more work done. Back home, and this was out front, I ordered something off bulk.com to try out. I already tried Blue Lots, and I uh, figured I'd try Bulk and maybe some other of these um, sites that sell this liquidation stuff. So I did alright with the one Blue Lots lot I bought. Then they sent me one to review, and I'm not doing so good with the one they sent me to review. They sent me a pretty bad one, honestly. The one I found on my own, I actually made more than $500. I paid about $500 and doubled it. You could, there's a video on that if you're interested. And so I guess my goal now today is to get this unboxed and make a video about it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, if you're watching this, you haven't seen the bulk video. This bulk video will be going out before uh, this vlog hits. That's almost for sure because my backlog's so long. But this thing was heavy. Um... Like, it's, I thought it said 37 pounds when I bought it, but this was, um, um, 70 plus pounds for sure. And I think there's even a little label somewhere I seen when I was dragging it that said like 77. But, um, I'm going to try to figure out the best way to unbox this. I don't know if I can get it up on my kitchen table. My kitchen table may explode if I try to put it up there, but, um, I'm going to figure it out. So I got my tripod with a little, uh, flex tripod on top of that to hold my phone and try to record while I'm opening it. So I'll get that figured out, get this recorded. I'm getting tired so I need to get this done and then um, maybe uh, rest for a bit and maybe try to get some stuff listed on eBay or work on an Amazon shipment. So take a look at these hammers I picked up in Lowe's a couple days ago. wasn't doing a vlog or anything. I wasn't even in there to pick up clearance. I just happened to spot them. I had to pick up something uh, for personal use. Uh, can you guess the price of these these amazing hammers? They were 96 cents a piece. Only two of them, unfortunately. But uh, these things sell in the 30s on Amazon, so I can make $16 a piece on them. 
I would keep one for myself, but I've already got a really nice hammer I bought on clearance at Lowe's a year or two ago. So I'll just, you know, keep that, sell these, I'll get about $32. So just amazing clearance um, finds sometimes. The trick is to just to uh, keep looking and uh, keep having that faith, I guess. But uh, I'm basically going to finish the day now. I got, I wear some batteries to test this uh, calculator. I got a rummage sale. Uh, they came in. So I'm going to go ahead and test that and see if that works. So the calculator is working great. It's going to make some money there. I think I paid a dollar or two for this and I'll sell it for $24.99 or $29.99, something like that. But it's going to make some money in the end for sure. That's going to do it for this video. It's been a productive day. Found some stuff to make some profit. I'm tired, ready to relax. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you want to see more of my reselling adventures. I call them adventures because you never know what I'll find. It's an adventure every day, honestly. It's great. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.